data server so in this video I'm going to teach you about conditional formatting in tableau so let's get started by opening tableau so in this video what I'm going to show is I'm going to show you the year over year concept uh, I'll show you the formulas and teach you the technique uh, to show the uh, colors and the arrows if it is positive negative or neutral the conditional formatting concept so let me show you the data set i have here so the data set is very simple so we have a year and a profit column so uh, the data set is very small but it can be applicable to very large data sets as well so now let's move on to tableau so i have a sheet here and you can see i have year and profit column here uh, these are the two i have created major so measures already uh, so it will be easy for me um, as it will save a lot of time so uh, what is a year over year concept so year over year concept uh, is a simple concept so in this what we will do is we'll compare the uh, current year and the previous year and so what is the uh, profit status for our, for our sheet right so as you can see uh, in the excel sheet we have 2022 and 2021 uh, so i have shown this uh, use this sample data set so uh, let's i'm sorry let's move to the tableau so first we need to clear so this year profit we need to get this year profit in tableau so you can do this by just going to the arrow here and creating a calculated field I have already created a calculated field name as this year profit so I'll show you so what I have done is I have just used the year and today function so what today does is today gets the uh, today's date from the system right so uh, what day today is uh, the today function value is store that date so year means the year uh, year function so what today year is used and what it is doing here is we are getting today's year that means uh, uh, 20 this means the we are getting year 2022 here so uh, year 2022 uh, is compared to the year column here so when uh, year column satisfies uh, the today's year that is 2022 then I have just taken the profit from there right so i'll show you uh, what is doing is so you can see that there is twenty thousand profit so i'll just drag you this this year to text you can see we have now the twenty thousand here so for last year what i have done is i have used the same process here but i've just used the minus one concept so what the minus one does is so this all function from year to year it shows that the year is 2022 so minus 1 means 2021 and when the year is 21 then the profit is shown in the excel set you can see it's 2021 is 30,000 so last year profit is equals to uh, 30,000 right so now let's move on to the year over year concept so year over year uses a different formula which pays this year profit minus last year profit divided by this year profit and as you can see that i'm using this sum here uh, making this a whole one chunk and dividing it by uh, this year profit so let's see how the value is here okay so the value here is shown like this but what we want to see it we want to see it in percentage and we want to have some arrows uh, to denote if it positive or negative right so let's uh, start on that so what we need to do is first we need to uh, get a text so how do i do it oh, so yeah right here so first you need uh, to get the text icon right or you can get it in word uh, or you can get it on notepad in the it is on icon section uh, you can easily uh, choose the icon and put it in this format so uh, this simply 
shows that if it is positive then up arrow if it is negative then down arrow if it is uh, zero then it's neutral right so i think a percentage value is missing here um let me put the percentage value okay so this is a simple concept and tableau follows this concept so let's go to the format section as you can see that we have a negative value here right so and, uh, for uh, the conditional formatting to working uh, as i showed uh, before uh, we must have a down error so i can do this one y o y then i go to numbers then i go to custom and then i use just paste the same format here so as you can see that the tableau for uh, follows this uh, pattern so if it it is a negative number it will if it is a sorry if it is a positive number it will show a positive up arrow and percentage if it is a negative number then it will show a negative arrow and percentage and if it is a neutral one then it will just show the uh, diamond shape and percentage value as you can see we are already seeing a percentage down value which means uh, the conditional formatting is working right so this is the concept to get the icon but what about the arrows right so to get the arrows uh, we'll create a new conditional for cre create a new calculated field uh, so let's say colors for yoy percentage so it will be simple to find out right if you want it so now let's do the same concept if uh, yoy percentage is greater than zero uh, then one if yoy percentage is less than zero then if y o y percentage is equals to zero then zero and i just end it so it says the calculation contains an error so going on over here mm. sorry i need to keep the i think uh, i need to use the else if condition here sorry about that um, else if and else if so yeah and as you can see that uh, sorry about that so i just uh, used if condition three times so it's a nest, nested else else if condition so else if elf else if i use the else if here and now it's fixed so the calculation is valid here right okay so i'm just gonna do okay and the next concept is what i have to do is i have to convert it to discrete so now as you can see that I've converted into discrete the blue color here shows that now I'm going to put this to the color section and as you can see that <coughs> it's showing negative minus one value uh, which means that uh, it's working uh, as we have created the calculation to show negative by minus one so all I have to do now is go to colors delete colors and for minus one i have just have to put the red and i'll apply it so you can see that it's red color so it is working for now so what if it changes into a positive color the uh, positive value then what will happen so to show this so we'll have to change the edit the measure again so let's change to the minus one value to plus plus one value as we have a negative value here we can only make changes here the other changes won't 
uh, changes won't uh, make anything happen so i'm changing it to positive one so it's the color is again set to blue right so now all i have to do is again go to edit colors and then i have to select this one and convert it to green then okay and now what i have to do again is i have again go to the edit i will and then i'll change it to zero and now when it's zero i'll assign the color to orange okay so as you can see that we have red orange and green color set here now i'll make the final change and i'll change it to back to how it was so this will be a negative value it's red right so um in this way you can do the conditional formatting in tableau so uh, let's check if this is working or not by changing the data value so i don't need this now so let's change the 2022 to uh, 5000 oh, 50000 okay so i'll save this i'll go to tableau and i'll go to data source and then i'll refresh this one yeah the 50,000 is here now let's see oh you can see that <coughs> it's working automatically it's green value and positive 40 percent so which is correct our according to our logic right so if you don't want to show any of this thing you can go to tooltip and you can just remove this one just like that and you have to press okay then you won't show the value of negative one positive one here <coughs> so uh, this is it guys so this is how you can do the conditional formatting in tableau uh, it's a very simple and easy trick and it will come very handy uh, when you are uh, playing with the, the month over month here over or here or week over week logic it's very easy to implement so i hope uh, this was very helpful to you and i hope to see you in the next one so thank you and happy learning